Hello, Lisa here. Welcome back to my channel. I am coming to you right now with a very exciting video that I am beside myself that I get to make right now. Um, I am literally, don't mind me, I'm literally holding a grounding crystal stone. I, I don't know what this is. I have it logged somewhere. I didn't even want to look it up. It's some kind of like bloodstone maybe I think it's got like it, it's weight it's got some weight it feels like it maybe has some hematite in it and I don't know I want to say it's like a tiger iron or like some kind of tiger eye other kind I don't know um, I'll look it up later I just needed a grounding feeling stone because I am beside myself <laughs> So I just got back from the post office and I've got my first witchy box in and I get to unbox it on my new YouTube channel and I just, I'm really excited. Which I say a lot on my channel, but I'm excited a lot. I get excited a lot. Um, so I didn't even bother to take it out of its outer wrapping because I kind of want to talk about that because this came up earlier. I'm babbling already. We're going to just get right into it. So I'm pretty sure I know which box this is, but I did sign up for three different witchy subscriptions. It's kind of like a witchy subscription box battle. I'm gonna unbox um, for sure the first month of every single one. There's one of them that I signed up for three months of and two are month by month subscriptions. So we'll see which one or ones I end up keeping. So it came in, look. So I wanted to show you guys this because a lot of times people are concerned if they sign up for something like this that it's gonna come in and everybody's gonna know what it is. So, I wanted to show you that it's in very discreet packaging. Um, now, I got mine in Canada, so I haven't found a subscription box, a witchy subscription box based in Canada yet to try. If I ever find one, I would probably give it a shot because it gets kind of pricey, y'all. Like, um, I'm going to adjust my camera because I think I'm slouching already. <laughs> and I might do that because I'm really excited and I want you guys to be able to see as much as possible. Okay. Anyways, um, so this came in really discreet. It does say on the box, um, on the customs form, it the from address just de just says TWB with a PO box, so that's fairly discreet. Um, and then in the detailed description of contents on the customs form, it says re religious supplies. Um, I will also say that I did get hit with customs on this one. The value was marked at $25. But on the back, um, when I look and see how customs, there's like a form attached for how they charged me. There's a flat charge of $9.95 just to handle, like just for customs to like do their processing or whatever. In my work, we would call it a landing fee. So there's like a $10 landing fee. And then there was um, just GST and PST of like $3 and, well, $2.28 for PST and $1.63 for GST. So altogether, it was $13.86 Canadian just for me to pick up the box. So that does add to the price. Um, I won't tell you the price of the box until I confirm for sure which one it is. But at the end of the video, I will go over what I paid for this subscription, including customs, because if you happen to be in Canada, it's kind of hard to find that information on YouTube. And if you're in the States, well, then you know you won't pay customs and you'll get the American price and probably cheaper shipping because that's usually how it works. But anyways, that's about as much talking as I can handle before I start ripping into this bad boy. And I'm very sorry if this takes time, but if it goes too slow, feel free to speed me up because YouTube lets you do that in the little gear below. You can change the speed. Oh my God, I'm so excited. And this already smells... This already smells so good. Okay. Oh, look how beautiful. So the box has this gorgeous, let's see if I can figure out how to hold stuff. It's like a butter, no, that's like a moth, I think, symbol. I'm going to have to move my preview so I don't have to duck under. Hold on. I'm going to move it over there. There we go. And it says magic awaits. Magic awaits. Oh, it's very exciting. Okay. I have to move the preview back now. Sorry, I'm very fussy because I have to see so that I know that you guys can see. All right, so me with sharp objects when I'm, oh, I put my grounding stone down. That was really dumb, Lisa. Okay, I'm gonna put that in my hand again. <sighs> see if I can calm down. Does anybody actually want me to calm down? Probably not. Probably not, because I think it's fun watching people be excited, but ah, okay, don't wreck anything, Lisa. So that little label, I had to just like slice through there. So I'm going to do this facing the camera. I'll let you guys get first peek. How about that? 
see if I can do this. Man, maybe I can't do it that way. I'm trying too hard, people. Okay. Ooh, okay. So, oops. So that is what I see when I open it up. It says, blessed be, with a little sticker, and there's gold paper. This box is obviously full to the very top. I'm going to see if I can carefully unpeel the sticker. Ooh, oh my god, I'm so excited. Okay, so the very first thing that I pulled was a tarot card. These are the backs. Which is the right way up? This is the right way up. So those are the backs. Does anybody recognize? recognize that card back I don't know this deck and I feel like I know a lot of them I'll show you the actual card in a moment here I just want to take it in it's the ten of cups which is like such a happy card that is the image it's a very pippy deck it's kind of got a regular like almost like a original Llewellyn style card stock I'd be curious to know what deck that is I wonder if it'll tell me when I open it up maybe not I feel like the letters on the back say S T T S. I mean, it's clearly got like a one directional triangle, but the actual letters seem like they're. Yeah, I have no idea. Let's see if I can hold it really close. Does anybody know what that says? I don't know. I'm probably mumbling. Also, if I look really washed out, it's because it's nighttime and my lights are very daylight white colored because it makes us less depressed in the wintertime. Anyway, okay, sorry, back to the box. Back to, this is gonna be like an, a really long video and I'm gonna have two more of these this month, so just like brace yourselves. Anyways, this is what I see when I open up. It smells so good in here, okay. So this is the witch's box, I should have said that. Now that I can see which one it is, for sure. This is the witch's box. Um, oh, my nose is itchy, I'm already buzzing, okay. So the witch's box theme for this month for October is called the divining box. I'm going to try to not peek at what's coming up, but I am going to read the, um, my nose always itches when I do these videos. I think that's so cool because usually my nose itches when I'm doing tarot readings. It's just a neat connection for me. Anyway, so the, it says divining is ultimately about holding up the sacred mirror. Either you become the sacred mirror by reading the palm or cards or tea leaves or energy of someone, or you consult the sacred mirror for yourself in the form of an actual mirror or a deck of cards or pendulum or runes. Ooh, okay, I'm not peeking. I'm not peeking. I'm not peeking. It's really hard to do. How do you guys do this? The people that have done unboxings, unboxings, I can't even talk. That's how excited I am. So one thing that I really liked about this box when I was looking at it online is that it comes with some really nice um, Book of Shadows pages so that I could maybe build a bit of a notebook um, using some page protectors. And I'm not artistic at all. So I have been ogling people's like bullet journal. I do keep a bullet journal. Mine is messy. I may show it at some point just so you all know that not all bullet journals are like super gorgeous and pretty. Um, but I do keep a bullet journal. But my Book of Shadows attempts have always kind of fallen flat, um, and I, because I'm not artistic and I want my Book of Shadows to be beautiful, but anyway, all this to say, this is the first thing on the top of my box. It's this really lovely, it looks like a Book of Shadows page for palmistry, and it's just really artfully, like, done. This is really cool. I don't know a whole lot about palmistry at all. Like, I think I know where my love line is, and that's about it. So that's really beautiful. Oh, oh, oh God, there's all kinds of, oh, there's, there's spoilers here. Okay, so I'm not going to pull up the other Book of Shadows pages. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to set those aside and I'm going to dig into the stuff and then I'll find the pages that go with the stuff. Okay, so the first thing that I touch, oh my gosh, there's like all these like, I should hold this up again. <laughs> this is really exciting. I'm having so much fun. Okay, oh, I'm going to dump this stuff everywhere. So there's all those like little like confetti papers. I'm gonna pile those on the bed next to me. Oh my god, you guys. Okay, I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out and I'm like, I haven't even started. What is even happening right now? Okay, so, oh my god. Okay, what do I even start with? Okay, there's a little tin. I'm gonna start there. <laughs> Whew, breathe, Lisa. <laughs> so I have here a really pretty, okay, I gotta put the stone down. Um, tin, and I should have brought my glasses, but it says... Um, the Witch's Apothecary Divining Truth Incense Blend. And this is like a good sized tin. Like there's my hand. Let me hold this up so you can see. Do, do, do in front of my face so it'll maybe focus someday. Okay, it's got a little bit of tape on it, which is fine. 
Where can I stick that? Okay, there we go. Oh my god, I'm s I just want to smell things. Oh, there was more tape. Oops. Ooh. Impatient girl is impatient. All right. Let's see if I can get this open without spilling it everywhere. I'm so nervous it's going to, like, I'm going to open it. It's going to be like a confetti snake and fly everywhere. Okay, these unboxings are clearly going to be just me smelling things. This smells so good. So it's a really chunky, leafy incense, and there is so much of it. So it looks like I'm really bad with herbs, y'all, but it looks like there's some little yellow leafy things. I'll read the description in a bit. Some little yellow leafy things. Feels like some sage, or smells like some sage. Maybe some mint or something? Let's see how far off I am. Oh, this, this tin, though, it feels really tight, so I'm kind of nervous about that. You know what? I'm just going to... Maybe I'm supposed to pull... I don't know. I'll have to figure that out because it's a little snug. Um, so let's read what it says. Does it say? Uh, no. It might say in a different thing. So, but yeah, that smells really good. So I'm really excited about that. The next thing my hands are going to touch... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, this is big. Get the little confettis off of it. Oh, I'm really excited about this. Okay, I can tell what this is. Oh my God. So I'm beside myself because I was setting up my altar and I realized that I do not any longer have an altar chalice. And this is so pretty. This actually does feel like it's um, real silver. It looks like it even needs like a little bit of a buff at the bottom here. So I do suspect that it's at least silver coated, if not silver. And in the center there is a pentacle. Oh, that is really pretty. And it's got a really wide like bowl along the top. I could totally see even potentially doing some scrying in this. This is lovely. And I, again, this is probably one of the few altar tools I don't have right now. Um, I did have a special chalice that we used in our wedding. And I think I might have, um, I think that's where my ritual chalice ended up was in our box of wedding stuff that is in storage and I am just this is really pretty I'm really excited oh that's really lovely so let's see what it says about that I should hold it up so you can have something pretty to look at Whew. oh I was right listen to this hydromancy scrying with a chalice a powerful method that tends to be used by those that have been divining and scrying for a while. This method can tap into deep issues for yourself, others, and general archetypal energies that play on a larger playing field. Scrying with water is ancient practice, and it's like tapping into the original telephone wire. Oh, divination fun. Oh my god. Okay, so that's really cool. And I can use that on my altar no matter what. So that's very, very exciting and really lovely. It was packaged very nicely, too. It was had this... Um, cardboard bit like around the um, bowl of the chalice and then it was wrapped in tissue so it arrived safely and securely <sighs> okay the next thing here is all wrapped up in bubble wrap and this oh you guys so this is from the witch's apothecary now this is one of the reasons why this box was very appealing to me because um, over time you start to build a collection of herbs in these really nice glass jars. And this is a really generous sized jar. So again, there's my hand and it's got a beautiful label on it. And this one says the Witch's Apothecary Calendula Petals. And does it tell us anything about Calendula Petals in this? Okay, I've got to dig through my um, Book of Shadows pages here and see. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so there's a page on, first of all, there's a page on hydromancy. This is for the chalice. Um, that's really beautifully done. So I've got all of this information I can read on how to scry with water. So that's super exciting. Um, and then for the calendula, look at this beautiful herbal page here on calendula. So that's to go with this really lovely jar of calendula petals. And again, this is a, like, this is a really big, I want to smell these. Oh, they smell like, they definitely smell really earthy. They don't smell floral. They smell, I'm really bad at smells, but it is familiar. Um, earthy for sure. Very earthy. Okay. And what does it say here? Um, oh, 
Calendula officinalis. Officinalis? I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, pot marigold. That's what it says. It doesn't say pot. It says pot marigold. <laughs> um, pot marigold, English marigold, or poet's marigold. So it's a type of marigold. The energetic is masculine or yang. The element is fire. The planet is the sun and the season is fall. And how fall is that? I'm going to sprinkle that on like my altar. Just all over my altar. All over it. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. Um, method of usage as a healing poultice, tea, incense, edible, pastes, and dyes, and magical usage, usages, offering, summoning, ancestral work, warding against evil or negativity, protection, consecration, dream pillows. Ooh, maybe I'll make a dream pillow. Okay. Prophecy, favorable legal hearings, lucky and inner vision. And how beautiful is this page that I could put into a book of shadows? So that's really cool. This is really exciting. It is one of my more expensive boxes, but I mean, I mean like a, yeah, that's kind of exciting. Okay, so the Hydromancy page and the Calendula page and the Palmistry page, which we might have to look at again here in a minute because there's something really exciting in this box that I have to dig out. So check this out. So there's this and one other item in my box here. So this is a Palmistry hand kit so i guess i'm only learning about palmistry and it's totally taped and i lost my scissors oh there they are okay so let me dig into this so that i can show you i think this might have been teased on their instagram if i remember i tried not to look because i wanted to be surprised but i think i saw this show up in one of the photos okay is packed in styrofoam oh that's nice okay so it comes with a little um oh this is cool so it actually does come with a booklet on palmistry um and it does talk about the lines um and what they mean so this is kind of cool so it does explain that's good because i know nothing about palmistry and then inside the oh this is good this is not i was this is really neat. The box made me think it was going to be super huge, but it's actually not super huge. This is really cool. Sorry, I'm just looking at it and not showing you. So, do, do, do. There we go. So, what you can see, hopefully it'll focus. There we go. So, it shows all the different, like, um, sections of the hand related to different planets. So, this part of the palm is Venus. Sorry if my lights are really glary. Um, the moon, Mars, Mercury, Sun, sorry, I'm just looking myself. Okay, so this part of the thumb, it says logic. This part says will. Um, what else can I show you here? Do, do, do. There we go. Oh, it focused for a second. I got it, have it in front of my face. There we go. Give you a good look at it. So that's really cool. It's got these little like pads on the back so that you can lay it like on a table and have it to refer to. Um, and I really like that it's tactile because, to be honest, trying to learn any system of divination or anything, it's useful to me to to have something to, to touch. I'm a very tactile person, so that's exciting. I don't know what something like this would normally cost to buy. I have no idea of the value, so I might not be very useful in assessing this box's value, but we shall see. So, and there was one other thing, so I've got a pile of packing material here in this box and this is there's a little velvet bag with the little goddess symbol on here and it's got some oh okay I think I got them all out inside are these little doo -doo -doo. eventually I'll figure out how to hold stuff in front of the camera which is runes. Okay, so I don't know if that showed up really well, but I'll pick up a couple to show. So there's that one. There's that one. Doop, doop. Come on, camera. There we go. I have to just put it right in front of my face. So there's some different symbols. Come on. Seriously? Okay, I'm going to put these on my laptop here. Hold on. Um, there. Aha, there we go. So I'm just going to keep my hand there and hold up. So there's that symbol. So I'm not going to show them all, but yeah, they're all, um, gosh, 
I'm so challenged. There we go. They're all like little symbols. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 13. Oh, 13 seems like a good magical number. Um, these are really different. And let's see what it says on my page about these. So those are really cute. So, oh, I can read the palmistry section too. See, you can tell this is my first ever unboxing, right? Um, of a box. <laughs> So it says, for palmistry, being in the role of sacred mirror for another is a holy act. The beauty of doing a reading for someone using palmistry is the connection of touch that can be afforded when taking another's hand to read the wisdom contained there. There is an intimacy that enhances the trust and the intention and the openness required by both parties. And in that way, it serves as a way to weave people closer. So that's kind of neat. And then for these, it says, Witch's Runes, a beautifully accessible and easy to understand divination system that can serve as a potent mirror to shine a light on both inner wisdom that you might be having a hard time accessing and a way to illuminate the path ahead given the dynamics at play in your present life. So I've got a couple pages on the Witch's Runes, it looks like, several. So... Okay, so they've given a Witch's Rune journal page so that you can kind of note the date, the lunar phase, the lunar sign, the runes you used, the question, and the wisdom that came through. So maybe I'll do a Witch's Rune as part of one of my rituals this month and record the results. That might be kind of cool as like a special thing. And then the other pages here, is so there just two? One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, yeah. So then there's a page that has each symbol. And it's. I gotta stop trying to peek. Okay. Each symbol and its meaning. Yeah, I have to kind of peek, or I can't tell. I can't tell that you can see anything. But yeah. So let's draw a random one and just see what it says, just out of curiosity. So, like, what. What message do I need the most right now? Let's just grab one. I like that they're really smooth. They are very light. I don't like this bag, but I'm spoiled by bags because of Peggy. So um, it's a, it's actually a nice bag, but I have big hands. So trying to reach in to get a rune is a little tricky. Um, so I pulled this symbol that looks a little bit like a five. And it says, oh, I turned it funny. It actually goes like that. And it's a scythe. So, slow down, sudden changes. Hello with the YouTube and all me on everything and making all the videos. Um, sudden endings, warning, danger, cutting away, letting go, leaving, releasing what no longer serves. What I might do with these actually um, throughout the rest of the month is I might, that was a squirrely moment there. I did actually take that in. <laughs> but what I might do is I might just drop these in this... Um, in this chalice. Hold on, I'm gonna put that there because they are very light um, and I can easily reach into this and I can just like mix them up a little with my fingers and just like draw one or draw two. Um, and that kind of looks like that if I do that with it. I think that's kind of nice. So I might set that on my altar and just have some runes to draw or I might, um, I'll probably, let's be honest, I'll probably dig into a a peggy bag or I might pick a little bowl they're very small and they're very light they're really beautifully made um, I think I showed that one already they're really beautifully made but I feel like they get lost in a bag so it's like I want a dish or something for them and they aren't they aren't very huge look at this eye did I show this already that eye yeah so that's very cool and I really want to know what deck this is so if you happen to know the card that I drew or that I was sent as random, definitely let me know. So to recap, I got this beautiful silver chalice, um, which by itself is just a stunning altarpiece that I'm super excited to have. The witch's runes in here, there are 13 little witch's runes. I don't want that to spill, okay. This really generous, but I, I really need to do something to oil the tin or put it in a different dish, but this really generous sized tin of um, divining truth incense. And I could just see getting a charcoal burning, getting this going, pulling out some divination stuff for a ritual. Um, that's really exciting. So I've got that. I've got these calendula um, petals, this herb to play with, and this really lovely jar. And I may, um, 
yeah, that's really exciting. And I have a few other herbs, so I may get some smaller jars, maybe at the dollar store this weekend, and set up a little section to house all my herbs. I may actually, I don't know if you can see it, in the, nope, I'd have to go that way. And my altar's there underneath my other rack of hanging bags in the back um, on that side of me. And the bottom shelf has some crystals and some musical um, sort of witchy items there, like a little drum and um, like a little flute and stuff. I think I have a device somewhere making noise, but anyway. Um, I might clear off that bottom shelf and turn that into a little mini apothecary with the other herbs that I have with this, with incense blends and kind of have everything easily accessible. So that's very exciting. Um, I, so, sorry, I was recapping and I went totally off track. So again, I have my, I spilled some, I knew this was going to happen. I have my chalice. I have my witch's runes, the divining blend incense, the calendula petals. It's a nice big jar the palmistry with the little booklet so I can learn a little bit more about palmistry. And then all of the books, Book of Shadows pages that came with this set. I'm seriously gonna spill those runes. Okay, so the Witch's Runes pages, which include the description pages and a journal page. So I've got those. The really lovely palmistry page, which I could create and then put some notes behind my exploration with palmistry. The herb page, which is really, really nice and the hydromancy page. So this box was all about divination and they've given me three different things to play with divination wise. The hydromancy with the scrying chalice, the um, palm, and then the witch's runes. So I think that's a pretty great box. So let's talk about cost uh, because I know that that's gonna be a factor for a lot of people. So I've saved some information on my tablet here. I'm just gonna open that up and see, okay. So I'm gonna read the description of what you get with this box. So this is called The Witch's Box, and you can check it out at um, thewitchesbox.com. And the cost, oh sorry, first let me tell you what comes in it. So every month you get Book of Shadows pages that you can add to your own Book of Shadows, alter items to pass down for generations to come, along with consumables like candles, incense, and potions that help support your rituals and your ongoing magical practices. <clears throat> Also included are two to three bottles of herbs or other magical ingredients. I did just get the one this month, um, but I did, but I guess I got two if you consider the incense blend. So I did get two um, and they were generously sized. Like for reference, again, this is quite a big bottle here of calendula petals and the incense is quite generous too. These weren't small little baggies or anything like that. Um, so two to three bottles of herbs or other magical ingredients to help you stock up your witch's pantry over time, as well as information how to use each ingredient in your magical practices. So the cost, um, which I saved in a screenshot here for myself, the cost for me, or uh, for anybody I suppose, the cost is $60 US per month. And for me in Canada, shipping was $25 US. And then on top of that, I did pay the uh, 13 and change in duties. So that makes my box 85, I can't math. That makes my box basically, um, well, 85 US. Let's just look that up on Google really quick. I might be, I might be a scared. <laughs> a scared, that's what I just said. Mm -hmm. I did, I'm gonna look it up really quick. I know this video is long, but I just really wanna know. USD, two, oops, two key. CAD. I should have prepped this in advance. <laughs> oh well. Um, so that means that before uh, the landing fee and all that stuff, I was at a hundred and see, I knew I was going to spill it. I was at a hundred and nine dollars and change Canadian. And then when you add in the um, duties, that's an extra fourteen dollars. So this does make this box about a hundred and fifteen dollars a month. Which Canadian, I will be honest that's not really sustainable for me personally. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm probably gonna keep this for maybe one more month and see what I think. I am really happy with the items. I do think they sent high quality items. I do think they put a lot of love and care into the um, Book of Shadows pages that come along with. And I really adore the idea of getting herbs each month, but 110, 100, well actually it was 110, before duties, $125, So, because I can't math. So it's about $125 Canadian altogether, and that's a lot, even for these beautiful items. So 
I may go one more month and see how it goes, but cost-wise for me in Canada, this is probably not my most um, efficient choice. So if cost is a factor, this one is kind of ranking on the downside for me personally. But again, a beautiful box and wonderful items. And the fact that they do ship to Canada by itself is really nice because some boxes just don't. So the fact that it's even an option is really wonderful. So that is my review. Oh, and that's the little bag. I forgot to show it again, but that's the little bag that the Witch's Runes came in. So that is my very first ever witchy subscription box. Again, I'm really pleased with these items. I'm gonna have fun playing with them. And overall, I would if you're in the States, I don't know what the shipping would be, but you're looking at $60 US, which to me, if I was in the US and paying like a nominal shipping fee of say, let's say it's $10, I don't know what it is to be fair, because it only shows me, it knows I'm in Canada, so it shows me the Canadian rate. So if it's $10 and it's $70 a month and you're getting these really high quality, like altar tools, especially if you are new and you're just setting up an altar and these sorts of high quality items meant to really last like not be consumable those might be really really good for you if you're just starting out like I've seen previous boxes and there are other unboxings on YouTube the creator of this box even puts oops just keep spilling my runes you guys the creator of this box even creates um, does some unboxing so you can see previous boxes and kind of judge the value for yourself and decide if that's going to be worthwhile for you I'm going to put this right by the mic and I'm sorry it's probably going to make sound there we go so thank you so much for joining me. I will be back later this month with two other boxes coming my way. So I will tell you right now, one of them is the Witch's Moon. Is it called the Witch's Moon? Yes, the Witch's Moon. And the other is House of Rituals by Tamed Apothecary. So I, or Tamed Wild, Tamed Wild. So Tamed Wild, House of Rituals, I did sign up for that one for three months. And the Witch's Moon are both coming my way this month. So I will... Uh, present do unbox those on camera as well and once I unbox the third one at the end of that video I will try to be prepared with a list of costs and shipping and duties and all that stuff that I um, was impacted by so that I can share for Canadians especially or if you're maybe if you're in the UK these numbers are still really useful because you may also get hit with customs and that sort of thing um, although it might be different but anyways I'll try to share at the end a bit of a recap of all three boxes and my thoughts and comparisons and stuff so that may be a separate video or it'll be at the end of the third unboxing this month so we'll see how it goes but thank you so much for joining me all I hope you really enjoyed watching this it was super fun to open I can't wait to dig in a little bit more especially to the herb I'm really excited about that and I will see you all again very very soon take care all bye